blood. Brothers that are in Christ, back at you with this Bible, man. The Word. The Word of the Heavenly Father. The sun is piping, it's nice, it's hot. It's a beautiful day. And this is what they call the thick of winter. I guess this is part of global warming or something like that. Praise the Lord, Father, that we're here and we're able to bring out some scriptures. We're in Galatians, the second chapter. So, we switched Yeah, you pick it up for the top, right? Galatians 2 and 1. Right? And 14 years <laughs> after, I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. Right? This is Paul, as we broke this down in the previous lesson earlier on. Paul, he went to Jerusalem already one time before, but now he's coming for the second time, 14 years later. Read it. Galatians 2 and 2. Right? And I went up by revelation communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles. Right, so he communicated to them under the gospel that he preached to the Gentiles. He went to the brothers that were had the reputation. He went to the brothers that were uh, that made a name or, 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 or jeopardized their lives for the name of Christ. They jeopardized their lives for the name of Christ and were considered men of reputation. How you doing, sis? It's all right, bro. You don't have to duck down. It's cool. Right, so now Paul said he had to go to them and show them what he was, how, what type of zone he was bringing out, how he was preaching because he was commissioned by revelation, as he says. How so? The Spirit, the Most High, the Heavenly Father talked to him in a vision. Or in, and also he talked to him in dreams also. To let him know it's cool. Go ahead and make this move for me. Read on out. Revelations 2 and 2. Yes. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, right. but privately to them which were of reputation. Privately to them which were of reputation. As I said, the brothers that jeopardized their lives for the name of Christ. They put their lives on the line for Christ's sake. Read it. Lest by any means I should run, or have run in vain. Right. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Well, Titus, as he said, but Titus being with me, who was a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Now, we realize that all these cats with all these different, different vibrations about uh, who's going to get saved and who's not going to get saved. One point we need to make from this lesson is that in the time of the Pharisees, in the time of Christ, we described the Pharisees walked the earth. In the time of Paul, we described the Pharisees walked the earth. Their beef was that you must needs be circumcised. Check this out. Read that verse again. Galatians 2 and 3. Yes. But neither Titus, who was with me being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. Sorry. He wasn't compelled to be circumcised. Titus was not compelled to be circumcised. Give me that again, Acts 16, 3. Because he wasn't compelled 16, 1. Because here now, I watched my man's lesson the other day. And I'm going to mention, as it is written, the brother there, you know what I mean? Listen, I like those brothers there. I like the, you know what I mean? The comfortable spirit these brothers got, as I feel it, you understand? That's how I feel about them. But on this topic, they are. On this topic is a no go. Somebody sent this brother a question and asked him about, all right, all right, gang, and asked him about, uh, uh, asked him about uh, uh, Galatians, the third chapter. Come back, give me that. Three, Galatians 3. And uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Show about the Jew and the Gentiles. They're all the same. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm scared. But the fact of the matter, you know what I'm talking about? Second chapter. In the same zone that I'm in. I don't think it's the second chapter. It's three, third chapter. The brothers said the question was that. Read it. Yeah, that's it. Read it. Galatians 3 and 27. Yeah. For as many as of you as have been baptized in, into Christ, right, have put on Christ. Right, so as many as been baptized into Christ, they put on Christ. Read it. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Come on. There is neither bond nor free. Neither bond nor free. There is neither male nor female. Neither male nor female. But ye are all one in Christ, Yahweh Shah. Right, that's how it is. So once you, everybody's in Christ, everybody's a whole body. 
that does not mean that the Jew and the Greek is of the same nationality. We know you brothers at, at, at GMS and, and as a Tazadakia uh, Church, Jesus Christ and Tazadakia. We know you cats got gay. Listen, we know you guys got gay. Listen, wherever I'm at, whatever I'm doing, okay, I'm a construction worker. So, I, I got particular skills for my trade. I, I, I'm a tradesman. So, when I go and do my, you know, go to work and do my thing and meet other tradesmen as myself, off top, it's expected. You got gay, you know what you're doing. It's off top, I, uh, I'm giving you that off top, I'm back. you got gay. You got skills. You know how to do this like I know how to do this. Let's get it done. Now all we got to do is work together. That's it. So we already know GMS, Tyler Dockey and the crew, they got game. We talking differently about this though. They got game to the point that they getting slick and deceitful. You understand? Give me that Proverbs 27, 13. And hold what you got. Proverbs 27, 13. They got different type of game. Check this out. Proverbs 27, 13. Yes. 29, 13. 29, 13. Right. The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The poor and the deceitful man meet together. The Lord delighted both their eyes. The Lord, meet again. The Lord lighted both their eyes. The Lord lighted both their eyes. You understand? So the poor and the deceitful man meet together, and the Lord lighted both their eyes. He let each man know what they're really about. The deceiver knows what he's about. The deceiver knows that, he, that the Lord is bringing them together. So it's all in the hands of the Lord. Right? And the fact that we want to make it, and the point that we want to make is that there is no game for this Greek situation. You ain't got no game for this Greek vibration. The Greeks that get salvation, according to the word of Paul, are straight on, Greeks. Show what you got. Galatians. See this. Galatians 2 or 3, yes. but neither Titus. Oh, come back to that 3. Right. Up that three. Galatians 3. You finish that? I come back. Galatians so, 2 or 3. Right, hold that. Show what you got. Acts. Acts 16 and 1. Yeah. Then came he to Derby right. and Lystra. And behold, a certain disciple was there named Timotheus. Timotheus now. This is Timotheus. I don't know what kind of game you're going to have, but you ain't got no game for the Greeks. We shut down all those lies now. All these lies about who's who, what nationality. The name, come on through, man. Come on through. The name, the word Greek. The nationality, Greek.